Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo, and we are back in our Wrath of the Righteous uh, campaign with Snotty Arthur and the gang. We are still in the canyon for vermin, and we went further north because we don't want to wait some more time. And we just found a crevice uh, where we can look down. Well, not look into the crevice. You stare into the darkness of the void, trying to make out where the strange sound is coming from. Not all at once, but your eyes pick out the contours of a body in the darkness. Someone small, perhaps a gnome, a halfling or a child, rolled up in a ball at the chasm under a stone ledge. He crouched down his head to his knees, his hugging his legs tightly. It appears to be one of the caravan caravaners caught by the swarm. He's crying aloud one continuous tone and it strengthens as it echoes through the crevice, building into something truly haunting. Okay, Atlantic 20. We got a good chance to get him out. Failed. We clamber down into the crevice and tie the halfling with a rope. Then try to pull him up. For a while he doesn't resist, though he doesn't help either. And he dangles helplessly like a puppet. But suddenly in the middle of the ascent, one of the Vesca walls in his eye socket moves abruptly. The halfling screams and sp Spasms and hits his head on the stone cliff face. He immediately grows still. We are now pulling up a dead body. Hmm. Too bad. Hmm. Okay, too bad we didn't help him. <laughs> what can you do? I think when we move on this direction, we should find the queen. Oh, this looks good. I mean, I don't think that it looks good, but... Like the Queen, it's a level 18 chaotic evil outsider. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the Queen. Um, he has fast healing 5 permanent, that's not nice. Uh, but she doesn't have any other immunities or stuff like that, so we can kill her. It's just 174 hit points. What's her AC? 22, so it's not easy, easy to hit her. But Touch is easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, you make yourself invisible. Uh. Is there any? Oh, I really hate this. Is there any potion that he will get more dexterity? Like what's that? What's this cunning? I really don't need the charisma for you. Um, 
What's this? Mage armor. We don't need that. Shield of faith. We don't need that. I hope we don't need that. Vanish. We don't need that. You remove sickness. Well, let's take this in instead of this. What's that? Um, blur. This is something you need. Okay, also the pig. What do you have? Heal of faith. What's that? Reduce person. We probably should take the reduce person to let him be hit. Let's use this. Okay, yes, you can use one of these. Protection from law? Well, no. From good? No. <coughs> from electricity? Fire, what's that? Acid, protection from evil. Mm -hmm. Make drama. You Nature Armor Haze of Dreams What's that? Law Communal Day It's not Yeah <laughs> Of course it's not lawful Um Heroism Give it to See look. We will win this war. See look, you will just That's nice. If I do it inside the inventory, we don't lose the the time. That's interesting. Mm, that. Yep. Let's go from. We are paused. Interesting. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um. Mm. Scroll up some monster one. That's interesting. So first of all, you'll just do this. You do something, you do something. You'll do this on the pig. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Do this on to the pig. And you do 
do this on wood chip and you what's that hampering injury shocking grasp hmm. touch of gracelessness hypnotism interesting wouldn't work on them anyway but yeah mm. Yeah, you don't do anything right now. You'll activate this thing. How about the pig? Is it? No. Pig, you'll drink this. Do we all have a blast still? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> you don't have a shield of faith yet. Let's do this on you. And because did something you Yep. Okay. Okay. Next thing we'll do is Fight it. Prayer still not inside. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. This is um, Scorching Ray is doing more damage. So let's do this. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's coaching Ray the thing. Mm hmm. Oh, there's a door. Mm -hmm. Yay! First hit. See the... Uh, let's... Try to run there? No. Not possible. Okay. Um, how about you? Making a five foot step. Like here. And then doing the prayer. 
now it's inside. I hope it's good. Ah, but we failed to overcome the spell resistance. That's too bad. Can you charge it? P? Yes, you can. And you can die. <laughs> Interesting. Um, let's go to Scorching Ray. Hmm. Nice hit. Really, you roll the four. Forty eight damage. Nice. The inheritor, guide my blade. Okay, you do a really good kind of cure serious wounds on Philomucus. Really only twenty one points. This wasn't enough. Pretty sure about that. Mm -hmm. Yay! Killed it. This was easy. Unleashing her last shriek, the Swarm Queen slumps to the ground. Immediately, as if by magic, the distant sounds of battle begin to subside. Several small beasts sit on their mother's bodies, sinking their mandibles into it. The canyon drowns in the weeds of sand. A sweet soporific with a hint of bite, like the crackle in the air before a storm. Looking at the slain monster for a brief moment, you feel an inexplicable sensation of not sympathy. No, the West War Queen is disgusting, but a strange kinship. What is it like to be part of a swarm, hostile to all life, hating everyone and hated by everyone? You take a deep breath and the sensation passes. Ugh, I can't breathe. I need some fresh air. Get me out of this disgusting hole. Agreed. Mind you, I've had cause to see holes a good deal more disgusting than this in my life. But they were few and far between. Sina <laughs> looks at Baron in confusion on the second day, the first in have the fumes gone to your head, Count? Look at you, cracking jokes like the worst kind of ball. <laughs> that looks scans at the Queen's carcass. The mongrels in the caves on the Canabras could eat that, I guess. That's it for the filth. No more flying. It's good we got rid of her without suffering more losses. Just a little longer, and we'd have forced have been forced to bury lots of our fighters in this cursed land. Suddenly Anivia stops. Her nostrils flare and her eyes scan the floor and the walls of the canyon. She squats pokes at some lumps of slimy substance, lifts some up, look more closely, smells them and cringes. You smell it too, right? It's 
Let me just think. Alright, at my life, that your gear had this nasty stench when we were entering the canyon. I saw the queen bug spraying it around to someone who spawned to her. And let's see if we can find the source of that smell among my equipment. You and Anivia search through your things and quickly find the source of the smell. In handkerchief. Looks like it's been soaked in something like the swarm's queen swarm queen slime. Perfumed handkerchief? Really? I'll be damned. When the queen was spraying this sweet smelling goop around, the swarm flew to it like flies again. The chewed up Bodies of the cavernous smelled like this too. I think some rock planted that handkerchief on you to ensure that the vegetables would find you. Okay, that's like the the head we found in our in our mm, things. What about past spin? Act for assassination already. Our commander's all grown up despite this airy tone, Darren looks discomforted. I thought this crusade couldn't get any worse. But now we have a mysterious traitor who is trying to feed us to a swarm of repulsive insects. There I was thinking you'd be first in line to feed me to some repulsive bug. <laughs> <laughs> What do we say? Nothing. No. Let's be kinky. No, 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 my dear slot, but fast. I have standards. What's more, my feelings toward you may be quite uh, tumultuous, but not altogether negative. So if I were to feed you to some insects, I guarantee that they would be the most sublimely beautiful creatures you'd ever seen. <laughs> Are you simply capable of keeping your witticism to yourself, or are you still sulking about being sent to crusade against your will? Nah. Well, in that case, the least I can do in return is ensure that the swamp I drown you in meets your exacting, exacting aesthetic standard. It may even be flawed. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this, this is nice. We understand one another surprisingly well, don't we? The demons did this. They placed this swarm in our way and made sure I couldn't avoid the ambush. Looks like I have enemies in Mendev and someone has decided to get rid of me. Yeah, let's take the second one. Why not? True, nobody likes upstarts. If you knew what Irabeth's allies hissed behind her back when she was appointed head of the Eagle Watch. Anyway, we need to keep our eyes open. A handkerchief could have been planted here by magic, but take it from a professional paranoiac. Par paranoiac. I think we've got a rat in our camping. Abras, we squashed the culprits time and time again, but they were like maggots in a dead hole. Some could have infiltrated our forces too. We have to keep our eyes open and our guard up. This time we got back to our people. I think we destroyed the queen's body. I heard the little bugs to eat the flesh of their mother can be reborn as warm queens themselves. That's kind of the last thing we need, right? Okay, we can get rid of the beast's body, or we can take the evil choice, but we did take the evil choice just last time. <sighs> Too, ble Too bad. Burn the body, but gather as much of the queen slime as you can. Keep the secret from the troops in Dresden. We will send in a suicide unit with the demons to gather their forces bring in the Vatican Wars. Hmm. 
we could use the wake of wars um, against the, the demons. Interesting. Hmm. And we would have to do two times scooping later on. Yeah, that's good. Seriously, you better think about this. We have no way to control the spawn. What's that mean? It means the soldiers we sent into battle with a barrel of this muck will be the first to be eaten. That's not even a suicide mission, it's a victory. Like only the cultists do. But we are crucified. Yeah, well, you probably. I know an order is an order. I'll go gather up the stuff. I don't mind, but think about it. Is this the way you want to fight? Uh, will you still be able to look your people in the eye? This could help me to become an arcane trickster, although I'll, I'll try to take the Eon's stuff. This was easy. Easier than thought. Who? Who's that? Nora. Ah, an India commander. What a relief, you're alive. I saw the storm begin to thin and ran to you immediately. Okay. Luckily, our losses are not as great as we feared. Not many are even wounded. But if you'd been a moment later, I'm afraid to imagine what might have happened to us. Unfortunately, the insect acid ruined what was left of the caravan. Ah, I see. So we don't get the stuff. We could uh, get stuff and lose troops, or we could keep the troops and lose stuff. Uh, of course, I sympathize with those who perished, but we could have used their gear. Yeah, what a waste. We could really do with some supplies. If only they died on the road somewhere first or after meeting some wild animals, we'd be sitting pretty right now. This is good to take the first good step. What matters is that everything's over and we won. What are we going to do now? Okay, just one good action. And we are even again. Since you're here, please take a look around. I found some painted runes and the traces of something that seemed like a ritual. We need to figure out what this is. Oh, good that she was there and not Europeth. I don't think that Europeth would be able to do so. Ha, huh, easily done. Nora leans over the magic symbols painted on the stone. I'm no mage, unfortunately, but I'm in the habit of thoroughly documenting all descriptions of rituals and symbols from magic books, especially demonic ones. Someone very recently opened a portal to the abbot here and summoned someone. It's not difficult to figure out who they summoned. He's lying dead right there. Guess who carried out the ritual? Handwriting is unique, even when it comes to runes. I examined the great garrison after our success documenting everything I found for Queen Galfrey, and I'm sure that the hand that drew the rune circles was the same in both instances. It's the work of the same spellcaster. Okay. Looks like the spellcaster is afraid of us and dares not fight us openly. Hmm. 
We shouldn't be afraid of demons. We lived through this little trap, didn't we? We'll overcome the next one too. We just need to keep forging ahead. Okay. Well, since we finished off the swarm and we know someone is giving us trouble, I suggest we get out of here. I'm done with that. Okay, we can go down here. Let's see if we can find something. See, there is some loot. Ooh, completely short though. Interesting. Fork tongue. Enhanced weapons. You have received an item composite short bow. It can bypass damage reduction in cold iron despite not being made from cold iron. And plus five items can bypass certain types of damage reduction. A plus three but automatically passes cold ah, interesting plus four adamantine and plus five allows the willer to deal full damage to a creature damage reduction this is based on a certain alignment promptly equip your companions with more powerful weapons various types of damage reduction will eventually cease to be a nuisance to you Okay, thank you. I will think of that. Okay, you. How about you take this bow? Uh, on d6 plus 3. Why is it 11 to 18 points damage? instead of 12 to 19 yeah, instead of 12 to 18 or 13 to 18 even hmm interesting plus free bleed composite short oh confirms a critical hit with it. The enemy suffers stacking minus one penalty to AC until the end of the combat. Hmm. How about I'll take it? Hmm. It does do less damage. But it does do more minimum damage. Hmm. You are fighting with a bow as well, but you can't take this. You can only fight with a crossbow. Probably I'll take this bow. And you'll take this. How about that? Good idea. Yep, great idea. Mm -hmm. This is a two handed flail. You probably won't take it. Iron, and this is not called iron. Is it? No. Okay, you. I did find something for you, I think. Yes. This is 
monk thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, the monk can wear it. Plus one dodge. That's okay. And the plus two enhancement bonus to attack and damage rolls with unarmed attacks. I'm um, pretty sure this doesn't. Let's run back. Each runic circle has been drawn here. Okay. Let's see if we really don't find anything. See, there's some body and loot. Not too much, but at least it's some some loot. As it has ruined the cavernous gear. <laughs> it's just a bit money, but no magical items. That's what they wanted to tell us. Okay, wait. Okay, there is a way. Stop! Why is there still some thing? Okay. <sighs> mhm. Ah, I see. This is where we made our first um, mm -hmm. two directions. Um, yeah, let's move there first. by the marks the snail his nails left in the soft sandstone this man was still alive when the swarm began to eat him hmm. Ooh, found something evident winters okay but on the other hand we find some a bit at least a bit not the magical stuff. Of course not. Would have been too nice to get it. Ah. Huh. Stop. Okay. You not let 
critical hit 50. Wow. That's nice. Nearly dead. Hmm. Um, you, can you heal the pig? Mm hmm Okay, uh, swarm. That's it. Nice. And again, we didn't find stuff. Okay, can't do anything about that, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move out there because today I will stop here. I hope you enjoyed it. Probably will look at the troops if they are still okay. If we lost too many of them, I hope not. Oh, wait, the camp is now here. Interesting. Did the army lose people? No, don't think so. Probably. Yeah, two priests because we had 18 plus 14. So it should have been 32. Also, probably some archers. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, yeah, the can't go further. Anyway, we'll stop for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time soon. Until then, bye.